are gonna be dyeing my hair. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? So today you guys are gonna be watching the attempt to dye my hair back to normal, which is this like dark brown color. Over the summer, I got a balayage done slash an ombre slash I really don't know what happened. But basically it goes from like dark brown to my natural color to like a medium brown to a lighter color. Wait, let me turn around and show you. So that's my hair right now. And it completely changes in different lightings. It could be like completely red in one setting and then a nice blonde or it could totally be just brown. I'm gonna insert pictures right now of what it looks like or what it's looked like throughout the months that I've had it. So basically to get into the point- To get into the point of- To get into the point of- Wow. This video, this is Hiba's beauty salon. This is something I do all the time at home with my friends. I'll either do their eyelashes for them or do their hair and dye it or do waxing for some people. This is Hiba's beauty salon. I'm Hiba, I'm the number one beauty stylist at the salon. And today the client is me and we're gonna have some assistance from Trisha, my wonderful roommate, who is getting her laundry right now, but she's gonna help me for the back of my head. But basically, I got this hair dye from Rite Aid yesterday. Its color is dark ash brown in 4A. I got it because because depending on the hair color you have, it doesn't make it all dark brown. It like kind of does it in shades. So I'm hoping I can still have somewhat of a gradient at the end, but it's gonna be all in the same tone rather than like red middle and then like yellow bottoms. So I'm hoping that's what happens. This is why this video is called attempting to dye my hair back to normal because I don't know if I will achieve it. And I don't know if I made this clear yet, but this isn't just a normal hair dyeing video because since I do have like balayaged roots kind of like they're not it's not a line they like are blended in i'm gonna try not to dye my roots because they're like nice healthy grown pieces of hair so i don't want to kill it if i don't have to so i'm gonna try along with trisha to like re resemble the balayage but with hair dye i don't want people thinking i didn't try like blue and purple shampoos i even tried overtone which just turned my hair green and the blue and purple shampoos barely did anything but like also to just show you that like the ends are lighter this is what it looks like when you put it at the top of my head. In some lightings, they can literally look like bright orange, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so to get into proper Hiba Beauty Salon get up gear fashion, we gotta switch into the proper gear. Ow! I got it! Oh my god, I got shot by the chair! <laughs> so that transition didn't go as planned. Now we're in proper gear, so now we can finally get started. I don't know if you can see better now the colors. Yeah, I promise it is lighter at the bottom, but yeah. So I just made the dye and I transferred it from this bottle and put it to here so it's like easier to scoop up or whatever. And then the thing I was doing in that time lapse was this kit for some reason came with this pre-treatment, which I've never even seen before, but like it, you're supposed to put it on the ends of your hairs and it makes it healthier. I don't know, because hair dye is not good. So I don't know what this is doing. Now we're gonna start and this is where the failure begins. Oh my god, it's on my arm! So my hair looks, oh no, oh my god, I cannot touch that with the dye. I am so dumb. Yeah, whatever. I basically did these back pieces, as you could see in the time lapse. I literally have no clue if I'm doing this right or not. Kind of making sure the ends are covered in dye because that's what I really want. Maybe when Trisha comes in, she can like verify that I got it done well. So the bottom sections were good. Now I'm gonna move into the top sections, which I feel like are the ones that matter way more. Oh my God, it's like literally turning a different color. Maybe I should wash this. I'm gonna split these sections up way smaller. This is really hard. Oh my God. Flip it. I don't have clips with me here, which makes it so hard. Yes, this is so dry. So now we have the lovely Trisha. Hello. Whoever is gonna help me with these pieces because I literally can't see. I don't get why I have so much dye left over. Like at the end, I'm gonna just saturate my ends so much. Is it maybe meant for more than one? Yeah, I think when I would dye my hair, all of it anyways, I would have left over. Oh my god, my neck is so <laughs> dye. 
Oh, I'm just gonna scream for so long. Oh my god. I know. Oh god, this much on the front. Is the, is the bag like deteriorating? Nah, it just looks great. So I matched the black shirt. You got most of the ends. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go over everything again because I'm so scared of like having the long piece of it. Oh my god, I just realized I don't even know how long this has been on my head. How long is this supposed to be on? The dye's supposed to be in for 30 minutes. I've been doing this for so long. It's been about an hour. <laughs> like 30 minutes later and I just finished putting it on my arms and arms and face and neck are just covered in dye <laughs> so that's the words everyone so we just finished putting it in and the top of my hair is not covered what the ends are and we're gonna let it sit and then I'm gonna wash it out and then I'll be back with the results okay so it's been many hours since that last clip was filmed I'm looking BAF but this is the final result. If you remember what the box guy said, it was dark ash brown, and my hair has never looked more black in my life. This is literally black. This is darker than my roots. It's literally pitch black. Like, I don't know if it's because I left it in too long, but like, how can dark brown turn black? If it's like brown, like, this literally just looks like, oh my god. It's black, but whatever. Also, I have no makeup on, which is why I'm looking so beat. But... Yeah, so I never really thought the day would come where I had pitch black hair, but it's here. And yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. So I will see you guys next time. I'm literally gonna be going to class tomorrow with this black there all on my neck and on my arms. Uh, yeah.